And I want to touch on when my brother was talking about not marry the other nations. Verse, Ad verse Andrus, chapter 8, verse 69. The nation of Israel. The nation of Israel, you so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native American Indians. Read. The princes, the priests, and Levites. Your leaders. Have not put away from them the strange people of the land. We didn't want to put away the strange people of the land. So we was forbidden to make marriages with the other nations. Read. Nor the pollutions of the Gentiles. Nor the pollutions of the Gentiles. All these wicked holidays that y'all celebrate due to being joined with the other nations. Read. So wit of the Canaanites. The Canaanites, the so-called Africans. Read. Hittites. Hittites, another African nation. Read. Parasites. Parasites. Read. Jebusites, Read. And the Moabites. Moabites are so-called Chinese people. Interesting. Read. Egyptians. Egyptians, you dirty Africans. And all these brothers who's talking about they Egypt. Egyptians. Read. And Edomites. And Edomites. The so-called white man. That's right. Who y'all want to marry all the time. They don't want to marry you all. They only marry you athletes once y'all get that money. Ten years they'll do that time with y'all just to get half of your money. That's right. They prostitute their daughters. Read. For both they and their sons have married with their daughters. And the Holy Seed is mixed with strange people. The Holy Seed. The Israel, nation of Israel, we're a holy seed. That's right. Y'all mix that with the other nations when y'all marry them and have children with them. Read. And the Holy Seed is mixed with the strange people of the land. And from the beginning of this matter, the rulers and the great men have been partakers of this iniquity. Iniquity. Read that again. It's a sin to marry the other nation. That's right. Read that again. And the Holy Seed is mixed with strange people of the Children land. Of Israel, y'all mixing with these other nations. Read. And from the beginning of this matter, the rulers and the great men have been partakers of this iniquity. Iniquity. It is a sin to mix with the other nations. That's right. You're going to marry those of your own people. That's right. That's right. But y'all don't want to hear that. Because so y'all think Martin Luther King said y'all going to join hands and hands and be together. But you're going to burn together. That's right. That's what y'all going to do together. We was talking about these sports. Today, you blacks and Hispanics, you're going up to the stadium, you're gonna go do the Final Four nonsense. I was in that nonsense too. But guess what? Now that I know better, I could do better, right? Now that I know where these sports come from, who gave us these sports, what they had us doing in these sports, now I know better. They had you wrestling, once again, but naked in the arenas back in the day. In ancient time, that's where these sports come from. The Greeks introduced sports to you blacks and Hispanics in slavery. That's right. You were introduced this in slavery, black man. Let's find out if the Bible talks about this. Read that, verse 9. Second Maccabees chapter 4, verse 9. Second, we're in the Holy Bible. Second Maccabees. Chapter 4, verse 9. Let's see if God talks about this. Read. Beside this, he promised to assign 150 more. Read. If he might have license to set him up a place for exercise. A place for what? A place for exercise. A place for exercise. Read. And for the training up of the youth and fashions. A what? And of and for the training up of the youth and fashions of the brethren. Of the heathen. You are brought up in the fashions of the heathen. That's right. When are y'all going to realize that? You are acting just like the heathen. You are not the heathen. The Most High said you're the greatest thing moving on the planet. That's right. But no, you want to be like the heathen totally assimilated 
Y'all don't even have a culture. You have a Roman culture. That's right. Bunch of dark skinned Romans. Read. And to write them of Jerusalem by the name of Antiochians. Antiochians. So these sports figures, just like they have sports names on their team, the Nets, the, 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 the Hawks, the Falcons, these people were called the Antiochians. After who? Antiochus Epiphany. That's who, that's who conquered you and set up these arenas. Read. Which when the king had granted, and he had gotten into his hand the rule, he forthwith brought his own nation to the Greekish fashion. He brought his own nation, you nation of Israel, you, you so-called blacks and Hispanics, unto the Greekish fascists. Read that part again, that precept. Which when the king had granted, and he had gotten into his hand the rule. When the king got the rule, read. He forthwith brought his own nation. He brought his own nation, read. To the Greekish fashion. To the what? To the Greekish fashion. To the Greekish fashion. That's right. Read. And the royal privileges granted a special favor to the Jews by the means of John, the father of Eupolemus. Eupolemus, who went ambassador to Rome for immunity and aid. So, so this ambassador, he went to Rome for aid. Read. He took away and putting down the governments which were according to the law. This, 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 uh, this aid. He took. Read it again. Read it again. He took away and putting down the government according to his own law, according to the laws of the Holy Bible. Read. Put it down the governments which were according to the law. He brought up new customs against the law. He brought up what? He brought up new customs against the law. He brought up what? He brought up new customs against the law. He brought up new customs against the law. That's what he did. That's how you that's how you became Greeks in the New Testament also. That's right. That's how you got into your sports, black man. Following the Greeks. Read. For he built gladly a place of exercise. He did what? For he built gladly a place of exercise. He built gladly. Put, yo, put the camera on that brother right there. Put it on him right there. Yeah, across the street. With the forehead with the basketball. Look at that. Look, right? He is joined onto his enemy. That's God, right. Because he's in the midst of his sport. That he learned in the Greeks, from the Greeks. That's what he did. He read it. Boy, Bill That's what these sports do to you. They don't separate you and, and keep you as the greatest people on the planet. No, they join you onto your enemy. That's right. Just like that brother over there. There's a, the one, one brother and, and 10, 20 white boys right there. He That's is right. And shucking and jiving. Read. Boy, built gladly a place of exercise under the tower itself. Read. And, and broke the chief young men. He brought the chief young men. Read. Under his subjection. Under his subjection. Read on. And made them wear a hat. Read. Now such. And made them wear a hat because they had those 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 uh, hats when they was wrestling, butt naked. They had them butt naked with those little hats on that they have when you see amateur wrestling. Read. Now such was the height of Greek fashions. Such as what? Well, Greek fashion. Such was the height of Greekish fashions, right? Greek fashions. Read on. And increase of heathenism. Increase of what? Of heathenism. Increase of heathenism. Now, you can have a black man on one team and a black man on the other team, and they hate each other's guts when they step on that court or that field. That's disgusting as hell. That's all right disgusting as hell. But guess what? The white boy on your team, you might love. You might love and go and go hang out with him after work, after practice. Read. And the increase of heathenism manners. In increase of heathenish manners. Heathenish manners. You in the midst of these sports, 
is heathenish manners. Not setting by the honors of their fathers. It's not what? These blacks and Hispanics is what? Not setting by the honors of their fathers. You blacks and Hispanics what? Not setting by the honors of their fathers. You don't set by the honors of your fathers. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are your fathers. That's right. You don't set out to find out what they did. You set out to find out what the Greeks did. You set out to cut your beard and look like a Greek. You set out to, to not have your fringes on. Our women wear pants like the Greeks do. That's Greekish fashions. The Greeks give you that right. But that's not according to God. That's right. Read that top of that verse again. Not setting by the honors of their fathers. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were honorable men. You are supposed to set out the honor of them. What did they do? How did they move about in the earth? Did they marry strange wives? Did they play sports? Read. But liking the glory of the Grecian. Liking the glory of who? Of the Grecian. Read that precept again. Not setting by the honors of their fathers, but liking the glory of the Grecians. Best of all. You blacks and Hispanics like the glory of the so-called white man. That's right. Most of all. That's right. That's what you love. As long as he's loving you, or you think he loves you, everything's all good. I'm good in the hood. That's what you think. Give me Jeremiah 2.33. Give me Jeremiah, the second chapter, the 33rd verse in the Holy Bible. Let's see what God says. Because the Bible says, you like the honor of the Grecians, the so-called whites, more than anybody. That's what the Bible says. But let's see what God, God got a question for you today. Let's see what God, let's see the question God got for you. Read. Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 33. Why trim is thou the way to seek love? Why do you blacks and Hispanics trim your ways? Sis, sis, I got a question for you. Sis, uh, you, don't, you, don't, you don't, she hears me, but she doesn't want to hear me. Like the Bible says, the wicked flee when no man pursues. That's, That's right. right. Read it again. Jeremiah 2, verse 33. A lot of y'all don't want this Bible. That's why you walk by. You don't want to change. You don't want to repent according to the Bible. So guess what? You're going to burn. That's right. There's only two options. Repent or drop dead. That's right. That's the message. Repent or drop dead. Repent or drop dead. That's it. There's only two options. You see, North Korea, they threatening the U.S. with nuclear war right now. You better repent or drop dead. Give me that in Luke 13 and 3 first. Hold that. Let's see if Christ said the same thing to you blacks and Hispanics. Maybe I'm talking harsh to you. Maybe you, yeah, I, we, I know how y'all are. Y'all want smooth words. You blacks and Hispanics love smooth words and you love lies. That's and, right. And hate the truth. That's right. That's what you do, you hate the truth. But guess what? We're gonna bring it out. The men up here, we're gonna speak the truth, whether you like it or not. And let it sink down in your soul and deal with it. Three. Luke chapter 13, verse 33. 30. Let's see if Christ said the same thing. I'm telling you, repent or drop dead. That's the message today. Repent or drop dead. That's it. Let's see if Christ said the same thing, the black Messiah. Read. Luke 13, verse 3. I tell you, nay, but except ye repent. Except ye, ye blacks and Hispanics repent. Ye shall all likewise perish. No, 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 Christ didn't say that. Ye shall all likewise perish. Not, not, not my Jesus. Not, not my, my Jesus don't talk like that. I tell you, nay, but except ye repent. Except ye blacks and Hispanics repent. Ye shall all likewise perish. That's so right. the message today is repent or drop dead. That's right. That's the message. Go